Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, I am The Messenger, and I'm just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, revelation on whatever you are facing today. So, um, last week, and I know when God gives me titles, I, I, I always write them down. So, he gave me this last week, and I'm just now getting to it. And he, he said, he talked about being fruitful and multiply. Now, we all, as soon as we hear that, what do we think about? We think about babies. We think about, you know, people. We think about multiplying the earth, being fruitful and multiply. But how many of you know it don't just stop there? <laughs> and that's what was, what, uh, what was amazing, that God was like, that's all we think is supposed to be, just babies. But we're supposed to be fruitful and multiply in everything, in everything we do you know back in the day they always i remember when church was small the members were what they liked it that way they didn't want to recruit anybody they didn't want the church to grow they 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 were comfortable in and in, in the members they got they weren't wasn't even trying to grow right and so what they did was talked about the huge churches but god told me he said I said be fruitful and multiply. We supposed to be fruitful and multiply even in our churches. So, you know, I don't know how what else to say. We supposed to in Genesis uh, uh, chapter 1 and 28 says, "God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds of the sky and over every living creature." that moves on the ground so he's not just stopping there with increasing the earth with people he's like increase in everything increase in your business increase in your home increase in your family increase in your finances increase in everything we do but how many of us get so stuck? Why do you think the world is against increase? That's God. God says, he also says, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. Let's look up what subdue mean. Subdue means to overcome quieten or bring under control so you know you, you we we have multi-billionaires and multi-trillionaires and things like this and you hear people talk bad about them oh they shouldn't be having all that money oh my god they're supposed to be blessing and helping people and they're just greedy well guess what it, whatever you speak against, you cannot experience it. If you're speaking against wealth, you're not going to experience it. If you're speaking against people that teach prosperity, increase, and favor, you will never get to experience it because you're speaking against it. So if you're speaking against anything in your life, that's why you're not fruitful. So you need to think about your life. And think about what you're speaking against. You're speaking against children, you're not going to ever experience that. You're speaking against wealth, you're not going to experience that. You're speaking against marriage, you're not going to experience marriage. You're speaking against health, because you, you won't believe the people speaking against health. Because they feel like it's in the family. Well, just because it's in your family doesn't mean that it has to come to you. You're speaking against healing. You will never experience it. You got to stop speaking against things. You're speaking against big churches and you're a little church. You will never experience growth. I'm just the messenger. I'm just here. You know, God gave me revelation about it. You got so many people think... Being fruitful and multiplying is just babies. It's in everything we do. We're supposed to be fruitful and multiply in everything we put our hands to. 
That's God. Anything that is against being fruitful and multiply is not of God. Um, spread across the earth and multiply upon it. That's Genesis chapter 9 verse 7. Uh, bring out the living creatures that are with you. Birds, livestock, everything that crawls on the ground so that you can spread out over the earth and be fruitful and multiply. The animals do it. Why aren't we doing that? You know, the animals know that they were created to multiply. But humans, what do we do? We find ways to stop birth. You know, we got birth control. And I'm not speaking against it. I'm just showing you what things were created. When I got my tubes tied, I'll never forget this. When I got my tubes tied, I was working at a hospital. And I hadn't told anybody. But I did it because... Um, my ex, you know, went behind my back and took custody of my daughter. And then it seemed like it was trying to do it again with my son. And I said, the devil is a lie. You got the first one, but you won't get this one. And it seemed like in my life that the men that I had children with would try to hurt me through my children all the time. And that's not why God created children. He did not create children for you to use to hurt each other. And so I decided that I was going to get my tubes tied because I couldn't take any more. I don't want any more children. If this is why we're having children and this is why I'm, I'm having babies with people and they get mad at me and want to hurt my me through my kids, I don't want no more. I don't, I don't want to do it. So I tied my tubes and I went to work. And my patient said, God's mad at you. And I was like, what? Why? Because you tied your tubes. And I went, I can understand. I know. But I did it because people are having babies for the wrong reason. And, and, and we're, we're, we're just mishandling babies. Babies are a blessing. And they're hurting me through my children. I said, so I'm praying that he understands why I did it. And I did repent. And I asked God, forgive me. And I said, if he wanted me to have another one, um, then, you know, he has to put it there. And I do apologize. Well, God, you know, we created the birth control, the, the what, the in the morning pill. We created all these things to stop being fruitful and multiply. But what if we had self-control? What if we all learn how to have self-control? Then we wouldn't have to do those things. You know, so, you know, it just really blessed me that he said, be fruitful and multiply in everything we do. Even over the fish, over the sea, over the birds in the sky, everything that's living that moves among the earth. You know, he wants you to know, be fruitful and multiply. Don't stop there. If you got one business, go get another one. Go get another one. As long as it's prospering and you're able to do another, do another. Be fruitful and multiply this week. Don't you stop. Don't you give up. Keep going. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. You guys be blessed. Bye.